What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lex Time is 21, man. We just came back from seeing Straight Out of Compton, yo. Oh my god, this movie was insane. Yes, this movie is one of the best movies of this year. You cannot miss this. My boy Jamel already seen it like five times. That should already tell you right there that this movie is amazing. Bruh, I'm not even gonna lie, man. Ice Cube's son is probably the best actor out of all of them, man. Every time I looked at him, I didn't even think of his son. I thought of Ice Cube every time. Every facial expression, every time he talked, every time he rhymed, yo, he just had his dad down to the T. I don't even know the actor who played Dr. Dre, but that actor, man, he was, he, he was he, amazing, he, dude. He's actually a, a trained Juilliard actor. Really? Yeah, he, he was, he was amazing, man. I swear, and every dude that played Easy, he was very good. See, the only problem I had with him... Is his skin tone. But everything down to the T, his expressions, everything was easy E, man. Bruh, every impression of every person that played an actor, Suge Knight even was like Suge Knight. Snoop Dogg, bruh. F. Gary Gray, the director of this film, he also directed Friday, if you guys don't know. But, dude, he got all of these actors to play these roles. Snoop Dogg, when he walked on the scene, I'm like, bruh. Dude will play Tupac. They need to keep that nigga in mind for the Tupac biopic he because is, he's gonna be the same one. Oh my god, I'm like, that's Tupac, son. That nigga not dead, dude. That was Tupac. Everything, the story, everything I wanted them to do, the problems he had with Ice Cube. I'm like, where is this at? They showed it in the movie. Oh my god, okay, so, man. Like, so, so again, like I like I put on my Facebook. I personally believe that that movie could be nominated for Best Picture of the Year. Yes, it makes sense. Um, for one, it's based on a true story. The acting was on T. Everybody did a great job. I did not see no bad actor. Paul Giamatti plays the manager. Bruh, this guy, man, he, he's amazing, man. He's he's very lacked on, man. Yes. People don't talk about Paul Giamatti. I, man, he, he's, he's but, one of them niggas, But man. the crazy part about it is, with him being such a heavyweight in the acting game, like, O'Shea Jackson, that's Ice Cube's son, mm -hmm. all those guys that didn't have any really like you know universal acting experience they held their own very mm -hmm. very well very very well they all did a great job in my opinion man even the females that played like some of the moms and the girlfriends yeah. they did amazing jobs his brother the, bro the brother that died oh my good spoiler alert uh we yeah, we gonna talk about some things that happened in the movie man but most of the stuff should already be known. Yeah, Easy e gets A's. They talk about that and everything's a big moment. It's not like it's just shunned out and, you know, just one little scene. They He started getting sick and people started noticing, like, yo, Easy, what's wrong? You cool? He wasn't cool, man. He passed out in front of this session. He was about to have a little session. This dude passed out and found out he had AIDS. That shit was crazy, man. I'm I'm just I'm just going to say, this is from, like, like you said, this is like my third time seeing it, but... um. When I first saw it, and this is from a, coming from a person that wasn't, like, really big on N.W.A. So I didn't know that much about him. I knew, everybody knew the Notorious song, Cruising Down the Street in My 6'4". You know what I'm saying? Boys in the Hood, that's what the name of the song mm -hmm. is. We all knew who Ice Cube was, who Dr. Dre was, but we never knew the true story of who they really were. Because I'll be honest with you, I didn't know that all of them knew each other growing up. I didn't yeah, know they I were didn't all know best that friends. I didn't know that either. When I first saw when I first saw it, Oh, Shay Jackson, is Ice Cube's son. Yeah. Walked in and see Dre spinning records. I'm like, they was already friends before they became NWA. It wasn't like they were already became artists and they all met together that way. They was already friends. I didn't know that either. Um, that's one of actually my favorite parts of when they first started getting together. Yeah. And it's funny because one of my friend, one of my coworkers I work with, like I said earlier, when we was walking out the theater, like didn't think we was gonna know the songs. I'm sitting there grooving, like I know some of these songs, yeah, man. Yeah, I did like too. dope, man. I knew that already, man. Yeah. Like, who, everyone knows at the police and Strata Compton. Yeah. Those the main songs they play. I mean, everyone knows those songs. And you know, see the thing is. What what I'll tell like most of the people that haven't seen it, you probably won't know all the NWA songs, but you'll know the individual songs that Ice Cube did, yeah. Dre did, like at, like he pointed out Aftermath, right? And Death Row Records, you know, because this is that's our generation, the mm -hmm. '90s. Like so, I mean, you'll know because Easy E started to fade out after the '80s. Yeah, yeah. Out. yeah. So, my best moments is probably mm, I will say the Ice Cube moments, man, like the scene where. He, he destroys. He, that he nigga. walked in on the uh, one of the execs that works at uh, public, what's it called? Public, what's Priority it? Records. Priority Records. I never heard that shit either. That's what they say in the way. I never heard of it. 
He goes in and just literally smashes his office up because he doesn't give him the money. I was like, this dude Ice Cube is ruthless, man. He was ruthless for real. But the thing is, you know what was so funny, though? I think when you look at this movie, which is why people will understand, which is why, like I said, uh, Sylvester Stallone is one of my favorite actors. It's more so people... People look at the, the art as just, oh, well, why is he your favorite actor? You got to know the whole story. And this this movie makes you respect Ice Cube a lot more. It, it showed what he stood for. He turned down $75,000. He wasn't playing, man. He wanted all his money. Man, and, I, and I, I read about that. I knew I wanted them to talk about that. I knew that once I saw the scene where Paul Giamatti and the Easy e character were having dinner and, and um, Ice Cube came in, like, why you guys eating steaks? We eating fat burger. I'm like, this is exactly what I wanted to see in this movie. I don't want nothing to be cookie cutter. I know they didn't show everything. I know they didn't talk about everything. They, didn't, they, they just talk about the major things that we already know. Because they put, they left out small details. Yeah. And that's fine. You see the one scene where Dr. Dre talked to his girl and, he's, and she was like, I know everything about death mm -hmm. row. Basically, the stuff Suge Knight did, and we all know he did some terrible things, son. We already know. We already know Suge Knight. And they show it in the movie, though. The one scene where he just dogged the dude for taking his parking spot. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, you know he ruthless, too. And it's funny. I read an article, and they said that Dr. Dre and Easy, they say they are really officially done with Suge Knight. They're not even, like, affiliating with him at all. Like, you mm -hmm. know, right now, they're done with this dude and everything he's done. I just think this movie is amazing, man. Out of the grade, would you grade? Would you grade it? Um, honestly, and I don't even do this. I'm gonna say that movie was a ten out of ten. I didn't. I didn't see anything wrong with it. Like, I, I would say the pacing was great. Like, it, truthfully, if if I'm a, if if you're gonna nominate a movie for best picture at the at the Academy Awards, it's got to be a nine out of ten or a ten out of ten. It can't be nothing lower. I, if I had the grab, I'd probably give it a nine point five. But on, on Echo, we do it five stars. I'll give it a four point five star. But out of a rating, I'll give it a damn. I can't even get a nine point five. Let me get a, let me be let me be weird and give it a nine point eight. Uh, I I just can't give it the ten. It is a perfect movie. I'm not even gonna lie, but I just can't get it the ten. Just for one slight reason is that I don't know. It's just I feel like they could dive in a little bit more of what was going on with each individual. And you'll always find something wrong. Yeah. Um, but it's just everything else just flows so right. I would say you have to check it out. It hits it hits you right. It hits in you the right face. in the right part. Everything with the police, you have to see it for that reason too, because everything is going on in that movie is going on still today. We still see cops killing people. Just uh, and Terry Kay and black men over just doing nothing. There's a lot of scenes in this movie where they literally do that. Um, they're standing in front of the, the studio that recording and cops just literally drive up. It's in the trailer. And they just literally just interrogate them for no reason. It's still going on today. And, and, the, and the, I think the crazy part, like little things that stuck out to me that was so impressive about the movie was the fact that they pointed out Ice Cube's whole career. Yes. When he was like writing Friday. Yes, I love that scene. I love that scene. That scene was just so, I'm like, oh my God. Him and Easy e got reunited. He said, I saw Boys in the Hood. Uh, I love those moments. Damn. Uh, yeah, like little small details, little small detail crevices like that, like really made the movie like, wow, they actually went and dug deep into each individual because they not only did that with uh, Cube, they did yeah, that with Dre. Yep. They did that with Dre to the to the team. They even did it when he made the Chronic Man. My bad. They did it when he did the Chronic and everything. I was like, wow, this is this is exactly what I wanted to see. Everything just flows all right. We about to end the video right here. We about to head back home. I gotta take my boy home, man. We just came back to seeing the extraordinary movie. I love every minute of it. Please leave a like and please subscribe. Go check this out, man. Everybody needs to see this movie. Man, I, I don't advise young kids to go see this, man. It's a lot, it's of, a lot of cussing, nudity. But surprising, nobody gets shot or killed. Or, well, Easy e dies, of course, but that wasn't from anybody, you know, He died from from, from, from from himself, from being dumb. Yeah, and, you know, we all, like we said, you know, the boy's brother died, but they yeah. didn't show that. Though. Right. Yeah, they didn't show they that. They don't show no brutally. Easy e gets beat up, and they don't even show that. It, it goes that far. Um, it doesn't go that far, as I want to say. I will say, check it out. It's definitely a must-see. It is. It's it, a must-see. It, it definitely is. It definitely is. Um, but, I mean, you already know my grade. 10 out of 10, man. I give it a 9.8. Check it out, man. And we're out on this one, man. Peace.